Easy, Junkie. You'll get your fix. You have figures today, Josh. You do new issues, I'll deal with the customers. Why does he get new issues? <sighs> Nora, how old are you? I'm just saying, I've been here just as long, I never get new issues. Today is not the day for your Amazonian bullshit. Before it was always Trent, and now that he's gone, it goes to Josh, or incompetent Gene, who's probably not even showing up to work today. Fine, you have new issues. Thanks, Jeff. No, get to work. You forgot Fraction's Hawkeye. <laughs> That's why we have a pool list, Turner. Stacy, hands down. He fell in love with Watson, it's as clear as day. All right, we both know that if she didn't die, MJ and Peter Parker would have never gotten together. Dude, you can't use death as a reinforcer hey, to start a room enough! For every day you guys come here and yell about the same shit. And every other weekend we have the same conversation. What do you think that means? Uh, that you have poor marketing skills, that's why we're the only repeating customers. Uh, okay, we're, we're just settling the whole who's the best love interest for Peter Parker. Which we know who it is. I'll settle it. Carly Cooper. That's insane. She's the smartest one to leave Parker when she finds out he's Spider-Man. Her dad was an officer. She knew the dangers of loving someone fighting crime. Stacy's like, considered the dumbest because she knew the same dangers, but she stayed with him anyway. Gets herself killed. Yeah, but what about MJ? Spider-Man's the only thing they have in common. Without that, there's nothing else. Just stay quiet or I'll kick you guys out. Kind of makes sense. You're just checking out her ass? You're not? Dude, well, no. no. Yeah. Leave me to the light. I'm a dead man. What's up? That kid hadn't picked up a single book since he got here. Hey, I'm having a bit of a... You know what problem. What, Gwen's not a happy camper? No, she is not. Go read a book. Who's the new guy? He's irrelevant to the narrative. Gwen got on her cycle this morning and ran my ass over. Listen, relax. She has a job interview. She's just a little tense. How the hell did you know about the interview? I happen to listen to women when they talk. Do you even know Gwen's favorite color? It's green. Don't play that shit with me. Now, is that Parker's Gwen or is that your Gwen? Can we quit with the Spider-Man jokes? I'm in crisis mode. I've got a deadline and an extremely pissed off girlfriend. How did you guys get to this? You've only been living together for like, what, a month? An introvert and an extrovert living together in a tight area. Yeah, see, I told you that anti-social shit. You little bastard. All the new 52s? Are you kidding me with this? You had the killing joke right there for the taking. You gotta go Selena Kyle on this. Listen, can you not teach this delinquent to steal from my store? Come on, now, let's go. Carl. 
call your mom. Chef, I'm in the middle of something right now. Take your new friend, relax. I'll meet you for coffee. So I was thinking that after this, maybe we can start on some pages. I've got a script right here. Perry, you're very delusional in thinking how this is going to work. I was sent here to... You make to... me happy. You make me happy, and I start working. But my girlfriend's upset, so I'm upset. Unless there's some way you can think of making her happy, which, guessing by your stature, I'm going to say that's impossible. My stature? What does that mean? Don't cloud the issues with your own self-reflections. You're the one that said it. And don't get snarky with me. It doesn't end well. Jeff's here. That means you move. Move. How do they fight in this? Oh, clearly gravity is not an issue in comics. One swing and I swear I'm gonna pop out. Gwen, you seem upset. I'm going to kill him. How are you gonna pay the other half of the rent? I just had a job interview. I think I got it. Uh, what's it, the costumes? Uh, Shep asked us and some of your sorority friends to dress up. Help sell us some comics, remember? Shit, I forgot. I'm done with this day. I'll just get the beers. All right, what did he do now? He came home at three in the morning, drunk and loud as hell. Did Shepard go out last night? Hell no, it was his turn to put down Bailey. Besides, he had opened this morning. What about Joss? We binged on Arrow last night. Not that bad of a show. Watching Oliver Queen do pull-ups without a shirt on? Ugh, oh, great way to spend the night. Gene, it had to be him. I'm gonna kill them both. I swear to God, Trent has no regard living with me at all. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. I warned you, both of you, but no one wants to listen to the married woman with the kid. What possessed you guys to live together? I don't know. I thought I could help. Help with what, exactly? There's no changing that, kid. You change Shep. Oh, whew. No. That was all Bailey. I swear, if it weren't for that child, he'd probably be in jail for strangling someone who didn't know who came first, Wade or Slade. Wait. I know this one. Wait, right? Slade. Slade. See, how the hell do you guys remember this shit? It's all white noise to me. They're just drawings. Oh, and Pradas are just shoes. The boys just make it more grand. I guess that's how we can tolerate them. You just like the way you look in the costumes. Oh, please, who doesn't like the way I look in these costumes? <laughs> Jean, I'm going to actually kill him. Vent out. Oh. <sighs> Have some afternoon alcohol. Everything will be right as rain. I can't drink this. What do you mean you can't drink that? I'm late. Do you know for sure? I got the call from the doctor last night. I have yet to tell Drent the blissful news. You guys are idiots. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. What? Where's mine? This is way too easy. Here's the thing. I told you, living with someone was a bad idea. I know, I thought she wanted to take the next step. Next thing I know, she's screaming at me about the alarm. You're socially inept, you know that. What does that mean? Sugar and cream? You're sharing your life with someone else. You're not married, but you'll be seeing this person every morning and night. What are you saying? Grow the hell up. Start being a man. It must kill you that I barely have my bachelor's and you have your master's.
Do you have any pages done? Does it look like I have any pages done? Are you insane? You better pray that he doesn't press charges. You must be the mother. I'm Alyssa. And you are? I'm Shepard. I own the place. I'm very sorry about this. Zach here is unfortunately caught in the middle of a divorce. And you don't want him to end up like most kids when their parents split up. Is there anything that I can do to prevent that? Uh, yeah, he can work it off. You know, uh, clean, scrub, clean toilets. Yeah, he, he can do that. He would love to do that. What? Are you, are you kidding me? That is so not fair. Oh, and this is fair, me coming down here? You will do it with a smile on your face, mister. Uh, hey, the bathroom's in the back, right over there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Seriously, that's all you got for me. What do you want from me? Closure to my problem. Grow up doesn't exactly help me. Trent, I'm about as equivalent as an eight ball. You understand that? I'm so close to killing you right now. Hey, you're being, a, you're being a little dramatic, don't you think? Mr. Connors. What took you so long? You know what, I don't care. Was that Trent Connors? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's like an actual professional comic book artist. I wouldn't use the word professional, but yeah, he gets paid for it. He's really good. Hey, do you think I get like, like a sketch from him or something? I'll get you a sketch. You'll come in here once a week. And you don't call the cops? Sounds like a deal. Deal. Smart man. He will be here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Look at those sex kittens. Just right for the picking. <laughs> no, I hate it when you do that. But they're so cute. <laughs> I have some news. Ooh, you're wearing that outfit in bed tonight? Yeah. Mm. This was a bitch to get into. I bet it's a bitch to get out of. And we both know you don't like wasting time. Right, I'll take my time with this. Okay, whatever. Um, someone we know has a parasite living in her. I thought you said you were on the pill. We agreed with Bailey. What, 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 what do you... Hey, listen. I am not going back to crazy hormone girl. Whoa. I'm I'm not doing it. You understand? Calm, calm down. Breathe. <gasps> it's not me. It's Gwen. Oh, that explains it. Trent has no clue. No, and you can't tell him. She has to. Yeah, but Trent is not in the best mental health right now. I know. That's why I need you to take him to the Dublin. You think alcohol in this situation is a good mix? No, but it's the only thing that breaks that shell of his. If you do this, I might rethink that outfit mm. thing. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 dude, you serious? Uh, Shut up, we got a bleeder! Fantastic. You mix cute girls in tight costumes with shut-in geeks into one room. What did you think was going to happen? Too much, I guess. The meek shell inherited my ass. <laughs> hey, where's the shadow? Hey, uh... I lost someone in the quad, so I have about a half hour. How was the interview? Good. I think I got it. So you feeling better? Um, I'm not sick. Can we go sit somewhere and talk? Can I wait? Um, I got some work to do in the office. Okay, your office is our dining room table with bad lighting. Which means I gotta go to the art building to get a hold of a drafting table. Is this how it's going to be? Every time we have a fight, you just run away? This is strange apology. An apology? You can shove... You know what? Can we please just go talk? Just hold that thought till I get back. Shit. 
Come on, guys. You're late. What? I'm supposed to come in today? It's Wednesday. Everybody comes in on Wednesday. You plan on working today? Ah, oh, I don't know. You plan on having this PMS attitude all day? Hmm? Okay, she's about to go hit girl on your ass. <laughs> They're about the same size. Gosh. Anything else going on around? Yeah, I wouldn't go by Trent's. Sally told me that Gwen is on the warpath for you. <laughs> Interesting. See ya, bud. Wait. Where are you going? About to have a little fun. You're good, right? You're good? Yeah. You didn't. Yep, I just walked out. When I told you to act like a man, I didn't mean be a little bitch. <clears throat> what, do you do you need a cough drop or something? I'm a girl. That means what to me? Just go back to your apartment, get on your knees and beg for forgiveness. If you're lucky, she'll let you inside of her again. Come on, you're a guy, you're not too proud to do it. Am I really taking your shit too? I am sick of your shit. This whole ordering me around thing, it's done. Okay, I'm here to get you to work, not the other way around. So go back to your apartment and get some pages done. Um... Oh, no you don't. Get back here. I, I, I didn't mean to... No, it's fine. It's about time, though. I got all the pages done this afternoon. I'll give them to you tomorrow. Really? Relax. We work in comic books. Shouldn't be this stressful. Have another drink on me, Sid, and unwind. Come up with a plausible idea of what's happening to you two. Mm -hmm. And I just got one simple question that I want to ask. Shoot. Could Gwen be pregnant? I take that as a possibility. You have some balls. Big brass ones. Where's Trent? What's up? Gene, are you so pathetically alone that you have to drag Trent down with you? As usual, you're not making any sense at all. I am about to commit homicide. Do you want to be the first victim? Now is that any way to treat the man that fought for your honor? You sucker punched a guy. It wasn't exactly a proper duel, as some would say. Now get out. Not until I find out what the hell is wrong with you. Why do you even care? Boredom, mostly. Mm. I'm not in the mood, especially with you going out drinking with Trent until the break of dawn. What? I didn't go out drinking with Trent. Don't try that. Gwen, I'm serious. I love getting Trent into trouble with you. Usually ends with him smashing some dude's face into the wall. It's great times. Such mm. an encouraging friend you are. If you didn't go out with him, then who did? Shep and Joss, probably. No, they were with their girls last night. He doesn't drink alone, or maybe he started to because of me. This is taking a dark turn for me. I'm letting you know right now, I don't do the crying shoulder thing. Just get out. Get out! Come on, I'm sick <laughs> of looking at you, go! Must be your monthly gift this week. So you do want me to kill you? Mm. You're pregnant. Mm -mm -mm. How the... Whoa, didn't get think out. he had it in him! Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait! What position do you think it was? Oh my god! Oh.
you think it's a good idea to get drunk two nights in a row? Shut your mouth. Shut it. I blame you. Did I have sex with it? Hmm, mustn't have been that good if you can't remember. I thought we had a deal. Has he talked to her? Oh, babe, not good enough. Hey, we're gonna have fun without the costume. Stop! You guys are worse than my parents. Oh, please. Just because you're not getting any anytime soon doesn't mean you have the right to deny anybody else. You guys are so funny. So funny. Hey, babe. 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 Shut up. No, not you. I'm not at Dublin's. Really? Uh, I think somebody's in trouble. Can we go to the back? Oh, no. We tried doing this privately. We're doing it in front of everyone. Seriously? You know I have issues. I don't care, Trent. Just because you make comic books does not give you the right to be a child for the rest of your life. Oh, that's a bit excessive with the child thing, considering your outburst this morning. Okay, did I overreact? Yes, and I am sorry about that. I could have handled it differently. As an adult, I'm able to say that I was wrong. That's what I need from you. If I'm not an adult enough for you, we should just call the whole thing off. I can see in your eyes that you want to be the man that I need. You just need a push. A, a push? What does it even mean? Don't think you can use your psychoanalysis on me. I'm not one of your students that need understanding. Just say what I want to hear. I'm, I'm sorry. Next time I'll just sleep on the couch. Or just leave the alarm on. Take it like a man. PDA isn't going to kill you. Do you want to risk it? Oh. Really, Shep? Do you have any idea how long it took us to break that barrier? Sid, can I get two whiskeys, double and neat? I can't drink, Trent. Of course you can drink. You have to work tomorrow. I'm pregnant. Trent's having a baby. Cheers! Well, shit.